Uh, welcome to look at looping in Adobe Audition. This is where I'm getting a lot of the stuff from at the moment. So we've got a new uh, new session here, and I'm actually going to use this is these are uh, this is where this is from. I'm going to use literally the very top one here. All right, so let's put that in to the multi track. Uh, one of the things that's kind of interesting, by the way, um, basically multi track means it's non destructive, whereas if you go into the waveform. That is destructive. So you're actually changing the file here, right? Um, you're changing the actual source file when you do stuff in the waveform editor. So that is one reason why, and I mentioned this on a previous video, that if you wanted to move it over here and do copy uh, unique here, it means you've got the, basically the chance then to, you can you can do it in such a way that you're not destroying the original file. Okay, so let's talk what we've got here. Okay, it's pretty loud. So what we can do, so we can select it and you can go to clip and go to match clip loudness and the one that is default seems to work pretty well and it sort of makes it like a reasonable volume so it should be uh, so what we can then do is we can then change it into a loop so we just right click here we get the button the loop what that basically means is that we can go to the edge here and we can sort of just loop it over like that So the important thing to realize is that you basically got these different buttons at the top here. So the sends, this is when, this is something which is more advanced where you send it to a bus and it's like a, a group of things. Uh, the EQ, you can access the EQ by turning it on and then you can look at the window here. Um, I'm gonna look at this, some of the more most basic stuff though because you know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of newcomer to it. So if you look at the, we've got the pan and we've got the volume here. Let's turn the EQ off actually. And we'll just go back into the, the regular thing. Um, so we look at this, basically, if you just click on the pan, um, if you click once, it selects it, uh, but now you've got a little plus button, right? So for instance, we could, we could just go all the way le uh, left on it, right? So if you're wearing headphones, um, you should be able to hear you can hear that how that that is the that is panning, and then of course you have the uh, the volume control as well, and you can basically do as many points as you want here, and you can uh, start to vary the graph like that. So you can do something like that. Let's just. Uh, Put it back to where it was. Okay, so the other thing you can do is you've also got this button here, which is fade in. Uh, so if you press Alt, Alt and drag, you can you can fade that in. And depending on how you do it, you can choose the value there. So do something like this, and it will and it will set the uh, the fade out at the same time. So that's kind of cool, right? If you press shift, you can do one on it, one on its own, right? Like that. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, so thanks for watching.